In today's video, we are going to be recapping what we've done in the previous two tutorials where we were asking users some questions and also displaying messages on the screen. And in today's tutorial, we are going to be creating something called a Mad Lib game. Okay, now if we read this blue writing here, it explains what it's all about. So it says, Welcome to the Mad Lib game where you come up with words to fill in the blanks in a story. Okay, our story today is the something, 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 or the blank, 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 over the lazy dog. Let's finish this story. Okay, so we've got to basically come up with three words to finish this little story. Now, down a bit further, Python is actually prompting the user for these words. So the first word that we're going to fill out, um, it needs an adjective. Okay, so I've got in brackets here what an adjective is. If you didn't know, it's a word that describes a noun. So I'm going to use the word ugly. Center. And then ask for a noun, so a person, place, or thing. Okay, in this case, I'm going to use a person, so I might write policeman. And for the last one, we're looking for a verb, so a word that describes an action or a doing word. So I'm going to write backflipped. When I press enter, it says your Mad Lib, and it just shows us our little Mad Lib that we made with the three words that we entered in. So it says the ugly policeman. Backflipped over the lazy dog. Alrighty, so it's simple. Let's have a go at coding this. Alright, so to get started, let's go to the File menu and select New File. You can go and close the shell and just make sure you've got this empty screen on your page here. Alrighty, so the first thing you want to do is you want to display some messages, messages on the screen just telling the user what's going on. So we just use the print command again and in brackets and quotation marks Let's tell the user what's happening. So we'll say, welcome to the Mad Lib game, where you come up with words to fill in the blanks in a story. Full stop, close the quotation marks, close your brackets. And that will display the first message on the screen. We're then going to display another message. So let's put in another print command on the next line. And it's going to say our story today is, and then in just single quotation marks, we're going to write the, and then we're going to put in some underscores, so 2, 3, 4, 5, then put a space into another 5 underscores, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then a space and another 5 underscores, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the blank, 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 put a space right over the lazy dog, full stop, Close the single quotation mark, and then close the double quotation marks, and close your bracket. Okay, so it says our story today is the blank, 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 over the lazy dog. That's our second message being displayed. The next one is going to say print again, and we'll say let's finish this story. Dot, 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 and we'll close the quotation marks, close the bracket. So that displays the three messages we want at the start of our program. So I go to File and Save. I'm just going to save that on the desktop and I'll call it uh, Madlib. Press Enter. Now we can test this out now that we've saved it. So I'm going to go up to Run and run that module. And you can just make sure that you've got three messages being displayed appropriately on the screen. Everything looks pretty good there. Okay, so that's the first part of our program looking good. What we're going to do now is we're going to ask the user some questions. Alright, before we do that, I'm just going to print one more thing. Okay, what I'm going to do in quotation marks is put a backslash and an N. Close my quotation marks on my brackets. All that is going to do is make a new line. So it creates an empty line in your code. Oh, sorry, in your code, in your program, it's going to leave a bit of a space between what we've printed up here and the questions we're about to ask. I'll show you what that means in a moment when we actually run the program again. Okay, so we need to ask three questions to the user. We want to get an adjective, a noun, and a verb. Okay, and if you think back to our last tutorial, we also want to use something called variables. So the computer stores the information that the user types in. We want the computer to remember what the user types in. Okay, so let's create a variable called adjective. And we'll write adjective equals, 
and then we're going to ask the user the question. So write in the word input, that's our reserved word that asks the user a question. And in brackets and quotation marks, I want you to write enter an adjective. And if you want to write the definition of an adjective just to prompt users what it is, just write a word that describes a noun. And then you can close your brackets, put in a colon and a space, close your quotation marks, and then your brackets. All right, so let's have a recap on what we've done here. We've created a variable called adjective. Okay, we then ask the user a question. The question is going to be, enter an adjective. Okay, it's not really a question, we're just more or less receiving an input from the user. So the user is going to type in an adjective, and whatever adjective they type in, the computer is going to store it inside this bucket of information here called adjective. Okay, and that way the computer can remember it for later on. Let's do the same again for a noun. So noun equals, I've just created a variable there called noun. Oops, right, enter a noun. And in brackets, it's the person, place, or thing. Put a colon at the end, put a space, close your quotation marks, and close your brackets. The last thing I want to put in is a verb. Again, done the same way, we create the variable first. So the bucket of information. Right, enter a verb. Now a verb is a word that describes an action. Put in a colon, space, close your quotation marks, close your brackets. Okay, and whatever verb the user types in, that will be stored in our verb variable. Alrighty, so that's looking good. Let's save it and test it. Remember, there's a few things we're looking for here. We have the three messages at the top and then an empty line. After the empty line, we should have three questions getting asked. Let's have a look. Okay, so there is our three lines at the top. Here's our blank space, or our empty line that we've created. And now we've got the first of our questions being asked. So enter an adjective, enter a noun, enter a verb. Okay, when I type them in and press enter, that's the end of our program. Okay, we're not quite finished yet, but we've got start working, we've got the questions working. Okay, the next thing we need to do now is basically put it all together. So let's close the shell and go back over to our code. After the verb there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy that print n and put it in again. That's going to put another empty space in before it reveals our Mad Lib. Alright, so let's now go down and print in brackets. I'm going to write this in capitals, your Mad Lib. Close the quotation mark, close the brackets. That's a little, basically a little heading. After that, I'm going to put an underline in. Now, instead of just using an underscore, I might just um, use some hashtags here. And close off the quotation marks and brackets. And then after those uh, little hashtags there, sorry, what we're going to do is we're going to print our Mad Lib. Okay, so let's write the word print. And in brackets, put in a quotation mark and write the with a space. Close your quotation marks. And if you think back to our previous tutorial, we want to join pieces of text together. So we're going to concatenate what the person or what the user has written in up here. Okay, so we're going to put in plus adjective, plus noun, plus verb. So it's going to take the information that the user typed in up here and it's going to put it over here into our sentence or into our Mad Lib. After the verb, we put a plus, and in quotation marks, we've got over the lazy dog. Full stop, close the quotation marks, close the brackets. Okay, let's save it and test it, and we'll see if this is working. Okay, so we need to enter an adjective first, a noun second, and a verb last of all. Now when I press enter, you can see we get an empty space here, which is good. We've got a little heading that says your Mad Lib. This is our underline. Now it says the ugly policeman backflipped over the lazy dog, but we've got an issue where all the words are joined together here. 
Okay, so it has concatenated them, so joined all those different words up here together, but it hasn't left a space between them. So how do we put that space in? Well, let's go back to our code. I'll just close that shell off. And there's just a slight change that we need to make to our code. Instead of using these plus signs here, we're going to use commas. Okay, I'm actually going to get rid of a few spaces here. So after the, we don't need a space anymore. We're just going to put a comma. Instead of that plus sign after adjective, we put a comma. Instead of that plus sign and that plus sign, we put in commas. And then over the lazy dog. So we're using these commas now. We should have a space between each of those words. Let's save it up. Press F5 and we'll run it one last time. So enter an adjective, enter a noun, enter a verb. Bingo. So your Mad Lib is the ugly policeman backflipped over the lazy dog. Awesome. If you want to run that again, you can change it to the good looking teacher jumped. And you can see that it's replaced the words down here. So the good looking teacher jumped over the lazy dog. Okay, so that is how you create a little Mad Lib using Python. And hopefully there's a bit of practice there for you. Just to recap on the print commands and the input commands down here. Alright, so save that up and I'll catch you in the next video.